Ooh, good morning, everybody. Still dreary here. Um, although the rain has stopped for today and yesterday, um, it's been cold, no sun. So, of course, nothing's dried out for Mike to be able to, you know, work on the land where the coop's going to go, the chicken coop's going to go. So, for those of you that don't know, um, <clears throat> we will be getting our first chickens in April. And we are so excited. Mike took on the project of building our coop. He designed it himself, but he based it off of Carolina Coops. Um, and we will definitely be leaving a link in there, um, the description below for you. So he, you know, pretty much designed it. And since it's been bad weather, his brother has a shop. So he's been um, able to go over there and at least get the panels put together or, you know, built. So then at the point when that's done and he gets this uh, ground level for it, we will be able to just bring the panels here and kind of put it together so it shouldn't be too bad. I just wanted to touch base with everybody this morning. Um, he is over at his brother's now starting um, the second video that we will be putting out for you. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this and stay tuned for a lot more. So our order came in from Amazon. Um, wound up ordering uh, 36, two 18 packs. Yeah, so 36, uh, three and a half inch hinges. We've also got some gate clamps to hold the windows, the doors, the different stuff shut. And then we've got some four inch barrel bolts. We're gonna be using those to, like the Dutch door, keep the Dutch door shut. Whenever you've got both of the access windows open, uh, one of them's gonna be pinned top and bottom uh, to make sure that it shuts and stays steady. That way the gate latch isn't the only thing holding everything together. Um, so where do we start? We stopped on the front, needed uh, to rip down some two by fours for the window uh, and get that front window on and then the front will be done and we'll be moving on to the sides. Um, the sides, again, each of the, the modular panels are six foot by six foot. So we're getting two by fours. The top sections will be uh, cutting those at 72. Uh, the verticals will be cutting three of those at 65. We've got six, 12, 18. So we've got quite a few to make. <laughs> All right, I'll probably put that on a time lapse again and uh, work work. So we have our four walls built. So next uh, we need to have an access place for the chickens to be able to get out of the run. We're gonna be rotating uh, the, the area around it with a uh, Premier One fencing, uh, probably up the, the 100 foot or maybe the 164 foot. We're gonna be rotating them around the, uh, the chicken coop and the run. So we're gonna need a way for them to get out of this thing. Uh, on both sides so that we can uh, rotate around the entire thing. Instead of just having one access point, we're gonna have two access points, one on each side, kind of a mirror image on either side of the, uh, the run. Uh, so that's what we're gonna build now. Uh, I will probably speed y'all through this again. Uh, we're just building a, a door. Uh, I'll try not to go speed it up too fast that so you're not catching on to what we're doing. But uh, you get the gist of it, it's chicken coop, right? All right, moving on.
And that's one chicken door down. One more to go. So next comes a Dutch door for Lisa. Um, so we're gonna put that, it's gonna be beside one of the chicken doors on another panel, on a separate panel. I believe it's gonna be this, looking out that way. So this will be the bottom, that'll be the top, or vice versa. I guess we could do it over here. Now let's work on this side, that way I ain't gotta reach all the way over there. Uh, so this will be the, top and there's most of our dust floor uh, we still have some purdies to do on here round over the corners we're going to radius the edges make it you know presentable <laughs> uh, other than that that store is done so i'm gonna mark these up stack them over there and go take a little break we'll see you back here shortly <laughs> 